This is session seven, adding a transition. There are three types of transitions, cuts, dissolves, and wipes. You create cuts during editing. This session shows you how to add dissolves. Chapter nine discusses transitions in detail. Thematically, a cut represents a change in perspective. A dissolve represents a change in time or place. And a wipe breaks the existing story and takes you somewhere entirely different. When in doubt about whether to use a dissolve or a wipe, use a dissolve. And by the way, my favorite dissolve duration is two-thirds of a second. So let me show you how to apply the default video transition, which is a dissolve, using a keyboard shortcut applied to the selected edit point. I'll also show you how to apply a dissolve transition using the mouse how to change the timing of a dissolve, change the location and the setting of a dissolve, and remove a dissolve from an edit point. Let's go back to our searing drama of the Rocky Mountains meets the Serengeti, and we, <laughs> and we wanna put a dissolve between these clips. I click on the edit point, either side, the in or the out, to select a type command, D is in David. And notice across the top, a dissolve now appears. If I play this back, we've got a very nice little dissolve going right across the top. To zoom in, type the plus key, or the it's actually the equals key. And if you need to change the duration, grab the edge of the dissolve and drag it. We can create what are called asymmetric transitions. Notice it just picks up a few frames of the outgoing shot and a lot of frames of the incoming shot or grab the edge of it, drag it out, and we can center it over the transition. If you double-click the transition, it loads it into the effects control panel. We can say, what's the duration? I'll type in 20 frames, which at 30 frames a second is two-thirds of a second. We can start the transition at the cut by clicking the alignment start at cut pop-up, or end it at the cut. Notice it shifts down here. Center it at the cut create our own asymmetric transition. Notice up here I have trimming controls. If I grab the edge right up here, I can trim the location of the out. Notice the dynamic trimming window shows up. Or I can trim the location of the in. Or I can roll by grabbing here, roll the position of the edit, and the transition travels with it, which means I don't have to delete the transition to be able to make changes. Wipes give us even more options when we're configuring them inside the Effect Controls tab. And we'll talk more about that in a later chapter. Oh, if I need to delete a transition, let's just go down to here. By the way, to move sideways, hold the Shift key down and scroll the scroll wheel on your mouse, or just gesture if you have a trackpad. Highlight the transition, hit the Delete key. Another way to apply the default transition is to right mouse click on the edit point and say apply default transition. And it will then add the transition at which point you can edit it as we just talked about. It applies the default transition as if you had typed it with the keyboard shortcut except it applies it to both audio and video. Keyboard shortcut for the default video transition is command D. The default audio transition is shift command D. Only add transitions when your story is essentially complete. Otherwise, you waste time adding transitions to shots that you ultimately delete. In most situations, 90% of your transitions will be cuts, and 90% of the rest of your transitions will be dissolves. Use wipes very, very sparingly. Thanks for watching.